We've all gathered here today to witness this marriage between Eric Bolin and Caitlin Gist with their families and their friends to support them and most importantly to witness this in front of God. And so on behalf of their families, I want to thank you for being here. I want to thank you for celebrating this special occasion with them. This ceremony demonstrates the inner love that Eric and Caitlin have in their hearts towards each other and towards God. It also testifies the belief that God works in our lives to lead us to the people that we should be with. God has blessed Eric and Caitlin today to bring them together and has blessed them up until this point. And so for those of you who don't know the story of how Eric and Caitlin met, I think now's a good time to tell that. They met about seven years ago, whenever they decided to go to Killen Park together with a friend and just to hang out. It was while they were there that Caitlin was swinging and Eric was standing in front of her swing. She was trying to kick him in the face and he stole the shoes right off her feet. According to them, this romance just began like any other. And it wasn't until later that afternoon when they were on their way home that Caitlin was riding with one of her friends and, and was talking about how much she liked Eric and just how much she thought of him and out of nowhere Eric just pops up from the back seat. <laughs> but it's these good memories that you can hang on to for the rest of your life. These fun memories. And it wasn't until a few years later after many long trips between Tuscaloosa and Florence that they finally went on their first real date and something that is the most fitting thing for both of them, taking their dogs to the dog park. This love that you have has already gotten you through turbulence, through good times, through triumphs and trials, through tears, through perils, and through peace. And it's that same love that will get you through the rest of your life, through the changing of seasons, because they will come. Eric and Caitlin never expect perfection of each other and always realize that when these difficult seasons come, it is this love that will get you through, that your reliance on each other and on God will lead your marriage and the family that you want. May you always have patient devotion to one another that will be unmovable no matter what happens in your lives. And it has been said that love is friendship that caught fire. It is quiet understanding, mutual confidence, sharing and forgiving. Just a little bit before this ceremony, it came a good bit of rain. For those of us who were standing out here, there was a beautiful rainbow behind us. And it was such a reminder to me of the promise that God makes to us. These rings that we have here are a symbol of the promises you will make to each other. These are a symbol of this promise that is unending, this unfailing love. Eric and Caitlin, you have come before us, all of these witnesses here, and before God, expressing your desire to be husband and wife. You have shown your love by the joining of hands and by the years that you have spent caring for one another. You have made promises of faith and devotion, and you have sealed these by the promises that you have made before God. You have given rings to show your love for one another as a sign to yourselves and to others. And therefore, by the authority vested in me as a servant of the gospel, I now pronounce you man and wife. Eric, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor and privilege to present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Eric Bowling.